Let's get straight into the news of the week, Trenton. And the news, as always, is brought to you by Eagle Mortgage, eaglemortgagecompany.com. They have been in the business for north of 30 years, and they will work with you for your conventional loans, your FHA, your VA loans, some of the specialty loans. They do those as well. But if you are thinking about buying a house, one of the first things you want to do is contact a mortgage broker at Eagle Mortgage. Holly Schneidwind leads the team, but it's a very good and talented team. And uh, talk to them. Explain what you want to do. They'll go through your situation. Uh, They'll take you through the process. They're kind of like mortgage counselors almost, if you will. And as a mortgage broker, they shop the market. They're not beholden to one bank, so they get the best deal for you. Eagle Mortgage is located at 114th and Davenport, or you can find them online at eaglemortgagecompany.com. Well, Trenton, um, last week, we talked to everyone about uh, the uh, planned hospital at the University of Nebraska Medical Center, Nebraska Medicine, and we knew this was coming. Uh, it's been talked about for a couple years right now. It's part of Project Next, uh, which is a multi-billion dollar project. It's only one part of it. But this hospital by itself will be $2.2 billion. And I will say that on Thursday at the Board of Regents meeting, uh, the Regents approved the initial $50 million design phase. And so this goes, uh, you know, this goes toward the design and some, some, some basic starting costs to get this thing going. It's going to be on the southeast corner of Farnham Street and Saddle Creek Road. But last week, you'll recall, you and I were kind of uh, scratching our heads a little bit about one specific statistic about it. One of the vice chancellors at UNMC had publicly said before last week, this thing is going to be 380 to 400 feet tall, which would make it currently the third tallest building in Omaha. And and even after the mutual tower is done, the fourth tall. So big, big building. We said, how could that possibly be? We've got some more information. And I think it really is going to be about 380 to 400 feet tall. What's the floor plate? Well, I'm looking at a rendering right now. First of all, this will be, uh, if it's anywhere near this rendering, and the only place that I've found it is on uh, KETV's website so far. And if if this rendering ends up being, and, and if you look at it, Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to, you know, it's very plain right now. It's just like white, you know, they, they don't really have a lot of detail on it. But if it ends up looking like this, this will be one of the most massive uh, buildings anywhere in the state. I mean, we're talking about, I think, 1.4 million square feet. And, and that's, the, that's bigger than uh, West Roads. Yeah, bigger, more square footage than the West Roads. That's, that's bigger than Union Pacific. Yeah, I think Union Pacific than, was one little over one million square feet. Yeah, and what UP uh, headquarters ever since it opened has always been the biggest office building in Nebraska by square footage. This will be a lot more. Of course, it's not an office building, but when you're looking at the rendering now, uh, you, you may you may be able to picture that area, big grassy area southeast of Farnham and Saddle Creek Road. The Monroe Meyer Institute was there for many, many years. J.P. Lord Elementary School was there for many, many years. Both of those have been completely removed, so it's just a big open grassy area. This rendering basically fills that entire area, which is probably the equivalent of, what, three or four city blocks maybe? And so it's on this huge pedestal. And then the pedestal kind of almost tears up, uh, kind of pyramid-like toward the middle. And then on top of that sits what appears to be about another 15 to 18 stories. And they're going to be hospital stories. Uh, Hospital stories have to have really high ceilings. So yeah, basically you're going to have something that'll be about the height of the state capitol building boom right on the med center campus. But more importantly than that, uh, it'll do a um, uh, huge service to uh, patients in Nebraska and and do a, a great deal to the economy. So what happens next? They start doing all of the preparation stuff as part of this $50 million approval from the regents. It might not be till after 2030, though, before this thing opens. It's going to be a long project. Yeah, I remember in $2.2 billion was a lot of money. Billion here, billion there. Pretty soon you're talking about real money. That was uttered by some Congress member back in the... I think late 80s or early 90s. Yeah. And uh, and now a billion dollars is worth even less. 
All right, let's uh, get into a couple of our other news items as well. Uh, we announced this week on uh, Gralmaha.com that Olson, which is a civil engineering firm, um, is going to be building a four-story office building uh, in uh, the Hartwood Preserve area, which is uh, just a little bit southwest. Actually, it's right southwest of 144th and Dodge. Actually, they'll be occupying two floors of it initially, maybe the second and third, and then the fourth, eventually, probably. And then the first floor will be retail as part of the, the Lanahaw's uh, developments plan as part of a Hartwood Preserve. What do they call it? The square or something like that? Oh, the, the center of Hartwood Preserve? Yeah. And I don't recall the actual name of that part of it, but Hardwood Preserve itself is a 500-acre development um, that uh, already has quite a bit on it. So the Valmont World Headquarters is there. Uh, Union Bank has a very nice office building there. Uh, Carson has a very attractive six-story office building there. The new Charleston's, the new Mahogany. Union Bank. Uh, yeah, Union Bank mentioned that. And then... Um, Gunderson Jewelry is going to have a flagship store opening there very soon. There's going to be a building that's going to have uh, an upscale cigar bar and restaurant. And lots of parks and and trails. Yeah, so it's a nice area. So this middle part that the Olson building is going to anchor, I've been told, is going to be somewhat similar to Exarban Village in that it'll be walkable, like you know, Trent indicated, the, the ground floor of this building will be uh, retail, so it kind of create kind of that urban environment. And uh, completion of this new building, which hasn't really even started, will be summer of 2026, so two-year project. If you want to see a picture of it, uh, just go to growomaha.com and go to the uh, news stories, the featured stories section, and there is a rendering of that building on there at this time. Uh, White Lotus, a local developer, is uh, seeking uh, $2.6 million in tax increment financing for a planned mixed-use building, 12th and Nicholas, in the Millwork Commons District. The planning board this week approved that TIF application. Going to be five stories, 78 apartments, uh, a little over 12,000 square feet of retail commercial space. So this is... Some of you might be used uh, familiar with the Dizzy Mule, which is a big mixed-use multifamily thing directly north a couple blocks from Charles Schwab Field. This is just a block east of that. So that area is really coming along. I agree. Thank you for that contribution. If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.